Hey everybody, I am making this video message for any one of you who is a temporary worker. If any one of you work for a temp agency or you are considering uh, work for a temp agency, this message is for you. And I want to just throw out some negatives and positives about working for a temp agency. I let you all know in a video message or two ago that a couple of years ago I worked for a temporary agency and I let you know things that I experienced but now in this message I'm going to go into a lot of deeper details just to tell you all some of the things that goes on and what you can expect. Now the first thing is this, when people hear about a temp there are so many myths about temps and negative connotations that follow a temp worker. Sometimes people will automatically assume that you may be an illegal or undocumented immigrant. If you are Hispanic, or if you are Dominican, or if you are Honduran, or you are, you know, Hispanic, they will just assume that when they see you at that particular company that you're there because you're an illegal immigrant the next thing that people may assume is that you are drug or alcohol addicted and so because of that you can't get permanent work so out of desperation you came to the temp agency some people may assume that you are a convicted felon because a lot of people who actually are convicted felons or they recently got released from jail, they do have to go to temporary agencies in order to work. And sometimes people will believe that you are not educated and you are not that great in working a regular job. So out of desperation, you have to go to a temp agency so you can keep a roof over your head shoes on your feet, clothes on your back, and food in your belly. These are just some of the myths and these are just some of the negative connotations that people will put on you being a temporary worker. Now, let me tell you guys this. People have to stop assuming negative things about someone who wants to be a temp worker because what you all have to understand that may be uneducated about this is that you don't know anybody's situational story people now are more so moving to do temporary work because when they were permanent workers they were not appreciated by the company they were overworked and underpaid it was either racism going on, it was favoritism going on, it was sexual harassment going on, it was bullying going on, okay? But the reality is this, whether you are a temp worker or a permanent worker, all of those things will come to you. Bullying, sexual harassment, favoritism, racism, being overworked and underpaid. That happens whether you are a temp or a permanent worker, okay? Now, one of the negatives I can definitely tell you all with being a temp worker is that depending on what agency you work for or what location they send you to, they will not give you holiday pay. When the holiday comes up, if work is available and if that company is open, they will pay permanent workers holiday pay, but the temps know what they will actually do is give you gift cards. The gift card can be $25, $50, $100, $150. They may do that and they'll be nice and buy you lunch. Typically, they'll buy the entire company lunch, permanent workers and temp workers. But that is just one of the negatives that I found about a lot of temp agencies that they will not give you holiday pay. Now, some do, but you have to figure out if you are uh, thinking about going in that direction to be a temp worker, you need to ask up front, do you guys give holiday pay? Another thing that you need to talk to them about is, are you going to be allowed to work overtime? A lot of temp agencies, they will not allow you to work overtime. Once you do your 40 hours, if you are working at a particular location uh, for Monday through Friday, then once you reach that 40 hours, it's over. It's over. You can no longer work 
overtime hours or it may not be the temp agency that makes that rule but the location they send you to certain companies that they send you to they may say well we don't allow temps to do overtime so when we are done with them they can just go home but depending on that temp agency like i said you all have to inquire about this on your own you will be able to work at another location on the weekend so let's just say for instance you work at the same location monday through thursday okay and let's say you did do you know your max you did the 40 hours and so it's overtime available on friday and saturday you can go to a whole other location and you can work that overtime you can work that overtime and you can make more money or if you work monday through friday and it's something available on saturday again the company can send you to a different location and you can get overtime out or let's say they didn't have anything available on Saturday there were some openings and you can actually work on a Sunday so I want to let you all know that the next thing I want to tell you all is this because I think I put out enough about the negative connotations about the downside of being a temp um, but wait let me tell you guys this a lot of times the company when they send you to a particular location, team leads, supervisors, managers, um, and the people that work within HR at that location, they will make sure that they tell the employees or, like I said, supervisors, managers, QAs, team leads, they will make sure that they tell them that you are a temp. One thing is, uh, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. They tried to play this game where they kept a separation because within the office and on paperwork, they already know if you're a temp worker. But when it started getting to the point that they were letting regular workers or team leads and managers know, you know, that you were a temp, okay, it all depends because... If they told a manager or a team lead that you were a temp, that's information that they needed. Because like I said, if you were supposed to clock out at a certain time, because that particular company is not going to let you work overtime, that manager or supervisor or team lead needs to know that. But it was sometimes I would experience going to a certain location. Okay, in the beginning, when I first started, and they would always make a very big distinction between temps and permanent workers. And it became kind of like a gang banging thing. It was the most unprofessional, rude, and just ignorant thing they would do. And so you would hear QAs, you would hear some team leads, you would hear some supervisors say, oh, well, um, this person is a temp well why are they a temp they not even making money a lot of people believe that when you are a temp you are not going to make money and there was so many times my check was much bigger than a permanent workers check because if i went to the same location monday through thursday or monday through friday when saturday rolled around i could go to a whole other location and i can get overtime hours and then after taxes or even before taxes permanent workers they would ask well how much was your check or they would show their check and they would find out that i made more than them and so i'm telling you all this in this video message don't allow any permanent worker if this fits you don't allow any permanent worker to try to shame you or make you feel like you are inferior because you are not a permanent worker. They will always try to come and manipulate, convince, or persuade you as to why you need to be a permanent worker. Not really realizing that you are not trying to make your job your life because you have a full life going on outside of the workplace. Um, a lot of people, they become a temp because a lot of you may be dealing with disabled or sick children or family members that you are helping. Some of you all actually have a business that you are running and just to bring in extra money, you will work for a temp agency. Some of you all just for your mental health. 
okay you do not put yourself in a position where someone is playing with your life and your time and so you all know you're not ignorant or in the dark about the fact when you are a permanent worker when you get sick and need to leave or you call in and say hey i can't make it or in the middle of work if you want to clock out and you want to go to decompress or to revive yourself your job is threatened if they don't outright threaten to fire you, your pay will be threatened. They will threaten to dock your pay. They will threaten to uh, suspend you. They will threaten to put points on you. They will threaten to write you up. Okay? Now, let me make you all understand this. When you are a temp, one thing I could tell you that I loved about being a temporary worker when I was a couple of years ago and one thing that you will find when you talk to other ones is the fact that it's so much um, joy when you get tired of one location and the shenanigans that you can easily tell the agency listen I don't feel comfortable going to this location. I don't feel comfortable going over there. Can you send me over here? Can you send me over there? That is the beauty of being a temporary worker versus a permanent worker. When you are a permanent worker, you are stuck there. And your only way out is to resign or quit or they require you to put in a two-week notice. When you are a temp, you don't have to do any of that. You, you could just not show up, and if you haven't showed up for a certain amount of days or a certain amount of time, they will just take you off the roster. Okay, you may get an email, you may get a phone call, and they ask, how are you? Is everything okay? Are you going to come back to the company? But nothing is threatened. And so I'm telling you all this because it's going to, I, I know for a fact, this is going to resonate with many of you who are temporary workers okay or you're considering it all i'm saying and my purpose in making this video message is so you all will stop allowing yourself to be manipulated persuaded or convinced that you're making a mistake being a temporary worker okay it all depends on what temporary agency you go through and it all depends on what location you go to because different locations have different rules um, and regulations, some locations you go to, your boss does not treat you any differently from a permanent worker. Okay? But I want you all to see the beauty in it as well. You, if you are the type of man or woman, I don't care if you're young, middle-aged, or older, and your temperament is really short with shenanigans and BS or messiness and unprofessionalism, I would personally recommend you go through a temp agency. I want you all to also stop believing this myth that when you are a temporary worker, that is just a factory position or a factory job. That's not everybody's story. You can be in any position through a temp agency. You can be a QA. You can be a team lead. You can be... Um, you know, a, a supervisor, you can work within HR. You can work in the office. You can get high positions, but you are working through a temp agency. Now, with some companies, they will punish you to a certain extent, but it's never extensive like it would be for a permanent worker. And the only reason why you may get punished as a temp worker, if you call off or if you don't show up, is because of the fact if you let them know too late that you will not be coming in or you're sick or something happened, they have to look around to get somebody to replace you. If you've been going to the same location for a certain amount of time, they get accustomed to seeing your face. And if you are a really good worker, a lot of those bosses and supervisors, they will call the agency and they will put in a request for you to come. That's real talk. That is real talk. But I'm going to let you all know something. Please, please keep yourself distant and separated from permanent workers because I told you all in another video message when you are a temp worker permanent workers I don't care what anybody tells you I don't have any reason to lie permanent workers will start trying to compete with you 
They could say what they want. They could think what they want. But when they find out that you are educated, when they find out that you have several notches under your belt, when they find out that your job, even you working that temporary job, is not the only income you have or not the only thing that you have to um, give yourself over to, there will be competition. And this is when you start to see the jealousy. This is when you start to see the bullying. This is when you start to see the harassment. Let me tell you right now, you're definitely going to see that. Because their thing is this. This is a temp. How dare he or she make more money than me? How dare he or she get the offer to even cross over so they can get this position? I'm not about to let this person go over my head. I experienced that. Well, I put in for a higher position and it was a team lead. It was a couple of them. They did whatever they could to block me from growing and getting ahead of them in a high, way higher position than them because they felt like, okay, I've been here longer than this person. I'm cool with the supervisor. I'm cool with the manager. This person is not about to be telling me what to do. It goes on. And so if you are working at a particular location, when they start trying to get into your personal business, when they start trying to ask you, because they're going to ask you, why are you a temp? Why are you not a permanent worker? They want to know because they want to use it against you later at the appropriate time and they want to use it as leverage. Also, you know what? Don't mix business with pleasure. When it's a guy or a girl, ladies and gentlemen, that come to you and they want to talk to you, you got to understand a lot of them are friends with the permanent workers. Okay, if they're a permanent worker and they're coming to you as a temp, you better understand that a lot of them are already really cool or they're probably sleeping with that team lead, that supervisor, that manager, that QA, or whatever other person is in that job space. Okay, and a lot of games will start being played. So you have to keep it professional. You have to keep it professional. So I hope this video helps you guys. I just wanted to give this information because there are some negative things that come with being a temp, but there are negative things that come with you being a permanent worker. But there's also beautiful things that come with being a temp as well. And there are many good things that come with being a permanent worker. But here's the bottom line. The bottom line is that whether you are a temp or whether you are a permanent worker, everybody is getting a paycheck. That's the bottom line. Everybody is getting a paycheck. Some may make a couple of dollars more than the other. Some may get holiday pay. Some may not get holiday pay. Some may not get overtime at that location but that temp can go somewhere else and get overtime. And they have other opportunities. They get treated better. There are so many advantages of being a temporary worker. And so I just wanted to make this to encourage those of you, again, who may already be a temp or you have been contemplating and thinking about being a temp. Don't really be quick to shy away from that. Because how your life, only you know how your personal life is set up. Only you know what you have going on. Only you know how much flexibility you need. But I'm going to tell you all, when I was a temp worker a couple of years ago, I can tell you all, hands down, and God is my witness, there was never one permanent worker that was truly happy with their job. There was not one. Every single permanent worker, through all of their jealousy, through all of their bullying, through all of their harassment, through all of the competition, through them being nosy, unprofessional, mean, rude, ignorant, and ghetto, okay? None of them were happy with their permanent position.
because if you're a permanent worker and you keep trying to compare yourself to a temp that right there is a dead giveaway you are not happy in your position you are not happy with that job if you are always complaining about the bosses about the job about the pay okay and you're getting pissed off because a temp is making more money than you because they can go to two or three other locations within one week, each week, then that is letting me know that you are not happy. But they will try to convince and manipulate you and persuade you as to why you need to cross over to be a permanent worker. But I have seen permanent workers cry tears, okay, request PTO clock out in the middle of the day because of the fact they were overworked underpaid and any time they wanted to call off their job was threatened they were threatened or when they did come back to work they were treated differently they were treated mean just from taking one personal day because they needed to catch up on sleep or something went on with their child or something went on with their spouse so you know don't believe the hype when you hear these permanent workers laughing and talking about temporary workers and they're making assumptions about you when they do find out you got notches under your belt or they get a hold of your resume or they sit back and they watch you and how you work oh baby you see a demon from hell manifest itself in those workers I have so many stories to tell you all about that, but I'll address some of that another time. I may even go live about this, but that is the video message. I really truly hope it encourages and helps those of you because I understand each one of you are at a different level in life and you have different things going on in your life um, and you are trying to handle your business. Okay, you all have deadlines you have to meet. You have sick family members, sick children. You may not be in the best of health. You may have some things going on outside of work. You may be running a business or trying to run a business and get something off the ground. So permanent work for you just is not fitting in your calendar. So everybody has a different situation. Everybody has a different story. But like I said, I wanted to just put these few things out here in the airwaves just to put some things on you all's mind, okay? Because, like I said, it's a lot of hype and a lot of cap around being a permanent worker, and I'm not against that. Like I said, I was a temp a couple of years ago. I'm not against permanent work, but what I'm saying is that a lot of these jobs will have you on contract. You all know that's for a certain season. Once that contract ends, you got to find something else. You know, people getting uppity, they getting arrogant about the money they make, about the position that they're in. But a lot of that stuff, you can be a permanent worker, but it's still temporary work because if you're under a contract, that contract comes to an end. So just throwing that out there, okay? And that's the video message. Well, guys, it's time for me to go because I have some other things to do. The Lord willing, I will be back with another video message. If any one of you have been offended by anything I spoke about in this video message, it's okay. It's all right. I am not worried about it. I am not concerned because I know you will forgive me in the morning.